Hello and welcome to Base Pick Reviews and in today's episode I'll be reviewing the movie Chronicle. In all honesty I am very excited to review this movie because I've seen a lot of reviews for it uh, before I even saw the movie and I just really liked the look of it and I really liked how the character from just based on the trailers from how these characters got these powers and how they were treated and then what, what they used for them and I was just so excited to watch it and now that I've watched it I'm just like I'm really excited now <laughs> so here we go the plot I found the plot very believable uh, if you obviously if you minus the whole finding like an asteroid or something in the ground which gives them telekinesis I really liked how you, you felt sorry for pretty much all the characters except for the kind of popular one but you felt bad for the kind of villain in it who he kind of became the villain the one that went on like a town rampage and pretty much destroyed everything and you also felt bad for his cousin because his cousin did try to you know become friends with him and try to talk to him and stuff and the other guy just kind of didn't but I thought the plot was very good I thought it was very believable the acting not gonna lie I thought the acting was amazing I really really liked how each of them made the script even more believable how it was almost like there wasn't a script given that's a bit more when I talk about the script, but as far as the acting goes, it was so good in how you really believe that this is what these people were saying and you really believed that this was actually happening to them and it was just overall really good. Like when one of them dies, you really feel for them and you really feel for the others. Even when the main hero dies, uh, the main villain dies, I actually felt really bad because I'm just like, he's kind of misunderstood with all the stuff that happened to him. And even the hero tried to tell the police and stuff to just stop, like, don't shoot him, don't do anything. Like, he's just had enough. He, like, got pushed to the edge, pretty much. Cinematography. As far as found footage films go, I thought the cinematography was really good. I really liked how they used the fact they did have telekinesis to help with the cinematography. Like, I really liked the scenes when they're just sitting on the on the edge of a building or something and the way that he's just moving the camera around because you can really tell that this kid's got telekinesis and you can really tell that he's using the camera to really utilize that and I just thought it was really good. Casting. I thought the casting was pretty good. Uh, all three characters were very memorable. I And the thing I also liked was even though these three people obviously were doing shows and stuff beforehand. How do I say? It, it wasn't like you were watching celebrities kind of read lines. Like sometimes when I watch a movie or even listen to like a Disney movie and you hear the voices, you're kind of like, oh, that's that celebrity. Oh, that's that celebrity. This wasn't like that. It was honestly like these kids could pass as like college kids. Uh, I think that's supposed to be in high school. They didn't look like they're in high school. That's the only thing I will say about it was I feel like if you want to cast someone in high school, try to make them look a little bit younger than what they did. Uh, in all honesty, I thought these kids were in college. <laughs> but when I found out they're in high school, I'm like, they could pass as seniors, but at the same time, it's kind of like, nah, they look more like they're in college. But that's a very minor thing I have. Script. A lot like the plot and the acting, I found it very believable. It really boils down to the script. I thought it was so believable. I thought... There almost wasn't one given, and I really love movies when it's almost like a script isn't given because it's so real, it's so genuine, it's honestly how these people would act. And like I said, kind of in the start, at the plot, I really liked how they wrote these three characters to quote what someone said on YouTube, to pretty much become a villain, a hero, and an anti-hero. Like you had the one who was using their powers to get back at people, you had the one that was trying to help people, and then you had the one that was just having a bit of fun but still wanted to help people. And I feel like everyone would go through all that. Like, I feel like if you had telekinesis and people have done you wrong, you would more than likely try to get back at them. You'd also use it to have a bit of fun with people, but then you would probably just try to help people. And I feel like all three of them did a very good job in the believability of the script. Like, the script was very believable. What did this film rely on? I personally felt it really relied on the characters of it. It made you feel for the characters. It made you feel really bad when one of them died. It feel, it ma hell, I even felt bad when the hero, the villain died. Uh, just because 
he was just going through so much and he pretty much just threw like a giant temper tantrum. But unfortunately it resulted in a lot of people dying and a lot of chaos happening. But he always wanted to go to some place, I think. And his cousin made that happen for him. Like he took his camera with him. And I think it was just really good how it just relied on the characters and you wanting them to succeed and you wanting them to have, like, to finish high school and then to have these powers and then for them to just fly and all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be cool. I think it was cool. Would I watch Chronicle again? Yes. And I'm going to give Chronicle a 9 out of 10. But at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. Art is subjective, so don't be too protective. Base pick out.